Let's start off with a quick overview. No Limit Texas Hold'em is a popular variation of a classic card game known as poker. It is a game that can be played by two to 10 players at a time and involves betting, bluffing, and strategy. The game starts with each player being dealt two private cards known as hole cards face down, followed by a round of betting. After this initial round of betting, three community cards known as the flop are then dealt face up on the table and another round of betting follows. A fourth community card known as the turn is then dealt face up on the table, followed by another round of betting. Finally, a fifth and final community card is dealt face up on the table. And now the final round of betting takes place. The goal of the game is to make the best possible five card hand using any combination of the two whole cards you are dealt and the five community cards face up on the table. The player with the best hand at the end of the final betting round wins the pot. At the beginning of each hand, the dealer button is placed in front of the player who will be the dealer for that hand. In a casino or professional poker game, the dealer is typically a dedicated employee of the casino who deals the cards and manages the game. In a home game, however, the dealer button is often rotated among the players to indicate who will be dealing each hand. In summary, the dealer button is used to indicate the player who is currently the dealer for each hand. The position of the dealer button determines the order of play and the betting sequence for each In hand. In No Limit Texas Hold'em, the small blind and big blind are mandatory bets made by the two players to the left of the dealer. These bets help to create a pot for players to win and ensure that there is always some money in play in each hand. The player to the immediate left of the dealer is required to post a small blind, which is typically half of the minimum bet for that particular game. For example, in a $1, $2 No Limit Texas Hold'em game, the small blind would be $1. The player to the left of the small blind is then required to post the big blind, which is usually equal to the minimum bet for that particular game. In our example, the big blind would be $2. After the small blind and big blind have been posted, the rest of the players at the table have the option to call, meaning to put in the minimum bet, in this case $2. This is also referred to as limping. They can raise, which means to increase the bet or set a new minimum wager to continue, or fold, meaning to get rid of their hand. The next to act player folds, and this player now increases the bet known as a raise to $10. Since this game is No Limit Texas Hold'em, that means there is no limit to the amount he can bet. Anytime you can wager all of the money or chips you have in front of you. Now that the minimum bet is $10, anyone who wishes to continue to the next round of betting needs to put in at least $10 into the pot. The next player folds, I also fold. This player decides to call, matching the bet made of $10. The player in the small blind also calls the $10 wager, and the player in the big blind decides to fold. His bet is mandatory, so his $2 stays in the pot even if he folds. This concludes the first round of betting. Now the dealer puts three community cards face up on the table known as the flop. The five cards in total that get put on the board are community cards that the player can use in conjunction with their whole cards to make the best five card hand. Once these cards are up, the second round of betting begins starting to the left of the dealer button. The first player has the option to check, which means to defer to the other players, to bet, meaning to place a wager that is at least the minimum amount of $2 for this game or more, or he can technically fold his hand right now, but in general that is seen as bad etiquette. If this player checks, all other players also check, the next community card is put on the board and the third round of betting begins. In this hand, the player in the small blind does check and this player next to act has the same option as the previous player to check, to bet, or to fold technically. And he decides to bet $20. Since there has been action or a bet made in front of this player, his options are to call, meaning to match the bet made of $20, or to fold, meaning throw his hand in and choose not to continue playing this hand, or raise and increase the amount of the bet. He chose to fold. This player, since he checked and deferred his option initially, is now able to act. He can call, fold, or raise. He chooses to call the $20 bet. 
Now the second round of betting has concluded and the next community card known as the turn is added to the table or as we call it the board. Now the third round of betting starts to the left of the button meaning this player is first to act always. He has the same option as last round to check or bet. He checks. This player has the same option he had last betting round to check or bet, but this time he decides to also check. Like I said, when all players in the hand check, then that betting round has concluded and the next community card is put up on the board by the dealer. This is the last and final card known as the river. This is also the fourth and final betting round. First to act has the option to check or bet and decides to bet this time for $25. As in all previous rounds, this player now has the option to fold, call, or raise. If he folds, the hand is over and this player wins the entirety of the pot. In this instance, he does decide to fold or muck his hand, meaning to throw them in and concede to losing. When this happens, no cards from the players have to be shown. Quickly, I would like to explain something called a straddle. In poker, a straddle is a voluntary bet made by a player before the cards are dealt. The straddle is typically twice the amount of the big blind and is placed by the player sitting to the left of the big blind. In some places, it is also allowed to be placed by the player on the dealer button, as is the case in this hand. The purpose of a straddle is to create more action and increase the pot size. By putting more money into the pot before the hand begins, players are incentivized to play more aggressively and take bigger risks. When the straddle is on the button, the round of betting prior to any community cards, also known as the preflop action, starts directly to the left of the straddle. So the small blind must act first, then the big blind, around the table to the player who enacted the straddle getting to act last. As you can see, two players called the $4 straddle, and now this player raises to $16. Of course, the flop now comes in another round of betting. I want to go over one more thing that just so happens to take place in this hand. These two players decide to make wagers, leaving one player with no more chips, meaning he is all in, and since there are only two players left in the pot, after the player folded, there is no more rounds of betting and the remainder of the community cards are to be dealt. The players here make a deal to what we poker players call running it twice. When players agree to run it twice, the remaining cards are dealt twice, creating two separate boards. The pot is split into two equal halves with one half going to the winner of the first board and the other half going to the winner of the second board. If one player wins both boards, they win the entire pot, also known as a scoop. One reason or this is to reduce variance and give a player a chance to win back some of his money, or in order to not break the game so that he doesn't lose all his money and end up going home. Running it twice is completely voluntary, and you do not have to do this if you do not want to. If you enjoyed that video and you want to learn more about poker, head on over to our Discord community. The link is in the description below. If you already know poker, or you wanna test out the poker knowledge you just learned, head on over and check out this video. There is a lot more vlogs and poker content coming as this channel, myself, and the poker career are headed, you know it, to the moon. I will see you guys next time. As always, hit that like and subscribe button, and have a good day.